Hello everybody and welcome back to our 100% playthrough of Spongebob Squarepants The Cosmic Shake. I just unlocked the Battle for Bikini Bottom costume which I love so much and I'm going to utilize heavily during this uh, playthrough. But we're going to continue on through the Wild West level. We just collected uh, this little thing that I'm certain that now that I press the button the game's going to get confused. Uh, but we're going to walk away from it now because we don't need it. Thank you, Patrick. Yeah, I thought it was going to do that. Uh, okay, well it doesn't matter. We're good now. Uh, so there we go. We just got another golden doubloon. We are looking for four refreshments, spots, hiding spot, and there is a grand total of eight more golden doubloons that we have to find in this level. So there's gonna be a lot of opportunity to find them, but also a lot of opportunity to miss them if I'm just not looking carefully enough. And this is a big level. I think this is one of the biggest levels, honestly, in the whole game. So I'm going to be looking everywhere, kind of be looking around, looking at all the corners, looking for like little hidden caves. I have no idea where things are hidden. This is again a blind playthrough. Um, anything that I miss, I will research and then we'll probably have like one episode at the end of this whole series will be me going through and uh, just doing a little bit of a cleanup process. Oh, Cowbone. Oh gosh, we, gotta, we have to talk to Cowbone every opportunity we get to. Cowbone is the best character in this entire game and uh, no one can tell me otherwise. <laughs> We see Gal talking to Calbone. I think should be a requirement for 100% playthrough. Let's let's just be honest. Calbone Calbone is the MVP. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, looking through. I this is a pretty straightforward section of the level, but I, I you just never know. You never know where they're gonna hide stuff. And there's so much to be found too. We have um, what is it like 17 things to find total. I'm happy that we completed all of the like. Uh, like, it was right at the last episode of our playthrough, or of, of the last episode of the storyline playthrough, we defeated the final boss, and I was able to get, like, four achievements in a row, and all of them had to do with, uh, knocking out enemies in creative ways. So I'm happy that we were able to get all that done. What's up with the weird, uh, I see a, a target over there. I guess that's what you're supposed to do to progress in this level. But I'm still gonna check around every single, like, edge and corner. Yeah. I feel like they're gonna try to hide one under a cliff like this. They might not, but it just seems like a thing that they would totally do. Waterfall, anything hidden on the backside? This is a teeter-totter. It's not a teeter-totter. Mrs. Puff's riding a ranch. Oh, there's gonna be totally something hidden around here. Oh, oh, maybe something off of this? Yes. Oh, wait, oh! We never got the golden spatula in this level. So check it out. I just see it in the, oh uh, no. I see it in the distance. We just found how to get the golden spatula in the Wild West level. Oh no, I gotta get back up now. I just saw those, I saw breakables I had to break. All right, so yeah, the golden spatula you can get on your first attempt through each level, um, but I did miss it in multiple levels. So now we're going back after the fact to go grab them. Uh, but I do love it. I, I love that they added the golden spatula. Despite the fact that it has nothing to do with progression besides 100%ing it. Oh, that's good. It also uses that sound effect too. That's so great. That is just so... Like, that, 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 that's just for the fans. That's all that is. They put that in the game so the fans would be happy, and I appreciate them so much for that. Uh, it's so nice of them. Uh, I'm gonna take a... Oh, wait, yeah, if you could walk on top of the building, we gotta try. There could be probably something hidden. Oh, I see a button. I saw Shiny over there. Sounds uh, like an adventure within our adventure. Double adventure. All right, so this sounds like it was a, uh, a coin that we probably could have gotten on our first playthrough. Uh, the way that they have dialogue for it, <laughs> they pro that was probably something that you were supposed to be able to get earlier on. Uh, yeah, look at you. How do I how do I reach you? Do I just wait until this goes all the way up? Yep. Just look at that breathtaking pastoral landscape. The beauty of nature. <laughs> hey, you think they got vending machines here? Yeah. So the fact that there's dialogue here definitely means they intended for you to get that on your. Oh gosh, this is like off pace. Here, I, I want to grab this because I see another drink up ahead that we have to collect. I forget who we're collecting these for, but we're collecting all these refreshments for another character in Bikini Bottom. I do think. Um, we should be able to get, I mean, oh, come on, five? How difficult is it going to be to find at least five? I'm, I have a big hope that we'll be able to find all of them. Oh, the, these are all for Squidward, right? Um, anything else hidden around here? I mean, this is, this is a lot of stuff to be hidden right here. I feel like we're nearly done with all the things that are going to be hidden in this area. Look at that! I never noticed the, uh, the train tracks. Because you probably ride over it very quickly. Alright, well these rings don't even spin, so right now this is very easy to do. 
Okay. Easy peasy. Pretty simple. Just riding the riding the surfboard. Just don't hit the flaming wheels because that will uh, cause you to immediately fail. The timer looks like it's a little bit tight though, so maybe getting there in time is going to be what the challenge is. Seven, six, five. Four. Am I going to make it? Oh, it restarts your timer at that point. Okay, well that's good. Oh, like hey, maybe it will be difficult just by the time alone. Like. You have to, like, cut corners and st That would be really cool if you had to, like, stay really close to the corners and, like, nearly hit the fire rings just in order to make it in time. That would be... That would be a big challenge. Uh, but, but as it stands, this is a nice, relaxing, uh, easy challenge for the first level of this entire game. <laughs> Makes sense. But it's funny, because even though it's the first level of the game, you don't get access to these challenges until you unlock them way later. Ooh, a gold but I will take that gold doubloon in stride! Uh, take a nice look around Mrs. Puff's writing school. <laughs> I, you know what? It's kind of a funny interpretation of the boating school because... Patrick, what are you doing all the way up there? Um, it's a funny interpretation of the boating school in that you've still got the lighthouse. Right? Like, this is a, a Wild West version of her boating school. Um, alright, well we've looked all over there. You know it gets him. Oh. Let's ride! Now I gotta figure out, is it a smash jump? Is that what it is? So... Jump and smash? There's like this super, super fast thing you can do, and I don't know what it is. Oh gosh, I didn't know you just like auto-failed if you didn't smash! I don't know if they're gonna have any hidden secrets. Can you ride a blue horse? No, they don't let you write Blueberry. Alright, well, we're trying this again. I, I don't know if they're gonna have any hidden secrets here. Yes, yeah, so it's like, listen to. I don't know, is there. I legitimately thought that there was a way to do bashing uh, faster. Because look, if I just do a normal bash, it looks like that. Oh, I see. I have actually, my health has been running down, which is why it messed up. Ooh, okay, so bashing him into air is faster. That's what it is. So jumping first and bashing. I don't know if that's just a subtle thing and it's not actually real. Uh, I didn't see a single hidden secret in all of that, so I don't think it was really worth doing that. <laughs> oh, but I guess it does get me here, so that was worth doing. Let's look around here. I know that the first time we played through the game, we ran up on top of these buildings and got, I think, a single golden doubloon. But I will check. Oh, I just realized that the saloon is the Krusty Krab. That's fun. Now let's check out these buildings. Yeah, we, we did this already. In our first run through, we did this. The Manta Fey Inn, the Manta Fey Jail. Oh, look at that! We have something we... Ooh, just a couple new challenges. Okay, so anything that's shiny is, I guess, a new challenge that you haven't done before. So, let's, uh, let's use these tiki's to get over closer to this... Flying flyer thing over here. We'll take. We'll, we'll see what this brings us. That's a big slingshot. Oh, this brings us over here. That cemetery gives me the chills. It does look a little. Get away from me, creepy, squishy weirdos! Get your own corpses, not mine. Could you please let me rest in peace? He's a grave digger. <laughs> Is he, wait, is he a grave digger or is he like a goth? <laughs> this is weird! This is so cool that there's a story-based thing that you can do as a bonus thing that you unlock later in the game. Also, I love Billy the Bass. Oh, hello. I would say thank you, stranger. Jeff Tentacles? Call me SpongeBob. But for what? The damage is already done, and I'll never get this mess cleaned up in time for the ceremony. Ceremony? Like a wedding? Or a birthday party? Oh, the optimism. Is there cake? Can we have some, please, Squidward? Who the trench is Squidward? My name is Jeff Tentacles Jr. And it's not a party. Is that a reference that I'm supposed to know? It's a for the late Oops. Billy the Bass. The last real cowboy. But look at this. Which is obviously this a reference a to disaster. Billy the Kid, the real life cowboy. Don't you worry, Squidward. Uh, Jeff. <laughs> I always, always stick together. Oh, please. If you're oh, two cowboys, then I'm a saloon girl. 
If only two Samaritans could tidy up before the mourners arrive. Until I wonder if this is gonna be yeah, this is gonna be a time time a limit the thing here. Locked up. Why don't we clean this mess up for you? What a great idea you independently did. <laughs> you go ahead. I'll be over there in the shade, relaxed, uh, thinking. Thinking about your cowboy. <laughs> Rest needs. in peace, Billy the Bass. We we appreciate uh I don't know your your notoriety. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I know. Well I'll just knock these guys out really quick. Oh, he spun around real interesting. Now, I remember being able to karate chop this guy. How do you do it? How did I do it earlier in the game? Like, I was able to karate chop him. Oh, hi. I'm gonna bubble you really quick. I don't know. I really thought you could karate chop these guys. And I need to figure that out because if I am speedrunning this game, nothing is gonna slow me down more than. Oh gosh. Nothing's gonna slow me down more than those big guys. Those big guys are the slowest enemies to fight in the whole game because you just have to wait for them. So if you are able to make them attack you faster, that would be very beneficial to know for a speedrun. Gosh, where are these all these enemies coming from? We do have a time limit, but they feel like they're just respawning. Oh, they are, aren't they? Gosh, I love I love the standard minion in every SpongeBob game. I was just like the guy who like hits you with the bat. <laughs> that it? Not it, is it? No, please don't go up. Please don't go up. Stay, stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. There we go. Hey, perfect. Everything tidy, great. Now get so I can take a nap before the. Why is the arrows in his hats? This really feels like he's supposed to be a specific reference, but I don't know who the heck Jeff is supposed to be in reference to cowboy like lore. Jeff. Cover my buns. Maybe, maybe there's like a Jeffrey or something. I don't know. Oh well, hey, we got two collectibles there. We got a drink and we got a golden doubloon. Uh, and also, there's another challenge right here for another golden doubloon. Oh, we're about to be a gunslinger! Woohoo! I wonder, is turning the camera faster than a. Uh, oh, I hit the guy. I should not have done that. Does that actually do anything bad for me? Is that just like ruin my time limit or something? I don't know if that's gonna ruin the challenge. You know what? The, the friendly targets might not ever ruin your game when you play these. I think the friendly targets just waste your time. Oh yeah, I got 12 out of 8. You only needed 8? You only need to get 8! I got 12! Yeah, so it looks like the, the friendly targets never mess you up in those mini games. It's all about just, uh... I wonder if there's a faster way up there. There's, it's only about actually hitting the target that you need enough times. It, they, the game does not care if you actually hit the wrong target. Can I get up? Come on, can I get up? There we go. Alrighty, I think we nearly got all the hidden secrets that you can find here in this main town area of Santa Fe. I should go into the saloon to double check with that there's not anything new in there. Uh, but I know that we originally, when we played through this level, pressed all these buttons, went around all these platforms, and uh, I do think that there was like a golden doubloon up here or something. I don't know. Whatever it was, we already got it. Uh, so I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, there was probably like something right up here or something. Let's go ahead and go to the saloon and double check. What did they call it? The sappy saloon instead of the crusty crab? That's funny. Alrighty. You feel like there might be a refreshment in here, huh? I feel like there might just be. Hi guys, how you doing? Oh, that's right, the lady who has a whole song that they wrote for this game. Um, maybe not. No, it looks like there's just a bunch of jellies and... Again, this is like one of the only interior locations in the whole game. Well, that's it. No, it's an empty place. I'll go ahead and leave. Make our way onwards. Yeah, the final, the final boss... I'm, so here's the thing, we're about to be running up to the Mr. Krabs boss, which is a time challenge boss. I'm intrigued about that. Uh, but also at the same time, I'm like, man, it's a bit crazy how the final boss of this game was easier for me than pretty much every other boss. Every other boss, without a doubt, has been more difficult to get the bonus achievement for specifically. Uh, and that's just, that's just wild. 
All right. Sorry, I saw I saw Tiki's. I'm. I, I want to not be on the horse anymore. Can I? Like this is an area I want to go slowly through to see what I'm supposed to be doing because I know they're gonna have hidden secrets all around here. All right. Check behind this sign. <laughs> not doubt they would have that, huh? All right. Oh, I see. I see spot. Okay, we're gonna have to climb up that hill and fall down to that lever because there's spot right over there. Uh, anything else? Like literally just looking from a distance. Hmm. Where else are hidden things? It's a big area at the level. Uh, anything down there? It doesn't look like there's anything down below. And I don't want to check over there just yet. So there's lots of stuff to do. Let's start looking. I'm gonna climb up here. Oh, that's so nice. The greatest thing about revisiting these levels is that you've already done all the hard work in uh, like setting up the level for yourself. Because you, when you ever you press the buttons, it creates these little shortcuts for you. So when you're coming back to find all the secrets, you've got the shortcuts already set up, and that's really awesome. Uh, I might be able to, uh, oh, I don't know if this is gonna work. Oh, I was really hoping that, well, actually it doesn't even matter because there's a springboard right here. Hey, come on! Man will break his arm patting himself on the back. Facts. Absolute facts. What's up, Spot? Like that's the last spot, Spot. Let's get back to Plankton, Plankton, and Karen, Karen. Wait! I found all of the spots! I didn't even know that. Oh, hey, did we never talk to this cowbone? Confusion is a goat on AstroTurf. <laughs> Guys, we've unlocked new cowbone dialogue. Oh, that is cr okay. We have to talk to every cowbone. That's crazy. Obviously, you don't have to. For those of you actually following along and doing a 100% playthrough of your own, you don't have to talk to every cowbone. Uh, but we're gonna because it's fun. Uh, that's fun. I didn't know there was another one. Uh, a, a goat on astroturf is very interesting. For those of you who don't know, what astroturf is it is a, a type of grass, the kind of fake type of grass that you have at like. Uh, uh, like on like a football field, they have fake grass. That's uh, too much. Uh, if I'm not getting this wrong, that's basically astroturf. Alrighty then, what's up here? Another mini game maybe? Can I, I would not let me ledge grab. I will go ahead and go on the spring pad instead. Uh, <laughs> confusion. We need to get a T-shirt that says "Confusion is a goat on astroturf." Oh, I get it, because the goat doesn't understand the grass. That actually makes sense. I thought he was just saying something weird, but what he said literally makes sense because the goat would be confused by what AstroTurf is. You can imagine a goat on an actual... <laughs> you can imagine a goat on a football field, uh, which again, American football for those of you uh, in other countries. Uh, so you can imagine a goat... Actually, no, they probably use AstroTurf on, on you know European football, which Americans would call soccer. They probably use AstroTurf on that too. A goat would not understand because it would try to eat the grass, and it's like, what's this plastic stuff? That's really, really funny. <laughs> I didn't get it. You know, you know what? Cowbone is more wise than we give him credit for. He's he's got like, he says it funny, but he says real wisdom. Uh, all right, keeping my eyes out for more secrets. How much have we gotten so far? We only are looking for two more refreshments and. Uh, three more, if I didn't do that math wrong. Yeah, three more, no, no, four more, um, golden doubloons. But I'm excited, we got all of the spots, so we can go ahead and talk to Plankton and Karen and get a golden doubloon from them, probably. A little We're probably on, wait a minute, how many more golden doubloons do we need? This says 14. We probably only need 14. We have four. We probably need 10 more. But what's interesting is that there's going to be more than 10 in the whole game? Yeah, so you don't actually have to collect every golden doubloon in order to unlock every costume. I thought you did. I thought you'd have to get 100% completion. Which is neat, because... Uh, I nearly fell down there. It's good that you wouldn't have to get every golden doubloon, because, I mean, that's kind of like the golden spatula thing, right? Like, if you want to get every costume, there might be some golden doubloons that are too hard for you, and so it's, it's good of them to not require you to do that. Why is there- wait. What am I supposed to do? Double jump? Yeah. Alright, I'm looking around. I don't really see any opportunities for shortcuts. Or not shortcuts, but like, uh, more hidden things. Have we been over there at all? I guess the jellies mean that we haven't. Yeah, I guess we're gonna- go oh, oh, hi, Calvin! Oh, don't listen to him. Oh, uh, do we- I don't- yeah, we, we heard him in our first playthrough. You know what I'm gonna do, guys? <laughs> 
totally pointless, but I might, in my speedruns, listen to Cowbone. When I'm doing an actual, at least at least my first few speedruns, when I'm not taking it as seriously and not trying to get like a world record or something. In my first few speedruns, Cowbone is required. Cowbone is required content in speedrunning. <laughs> Especially since there's some of it that you can only hear once. You don't live longer in the city. It just, it seems, just seems that way. That way. Who thought of Cowbone? Could you imagine the writers, like, coming up with what's gonna be in this level? There's not, like, a- is there ever a talking cow, like, skull in the original show? Is that a reference? Man. This game is pretty much the perfect Spongebob game. Honestly? I, can I say this is better than Bikini This is definitely better than Battle Bikini Bottom. It only is better because it's a more recent game that is playing off of more recent uh, video game development like concepts. The, the levels are genuinely more fun to a certain degree. When Battle for Bikini Bottom definitely had, you can definitely tell that it's an early 2000s game. This is a modern 2020 era game and I think it really has earned the right to be called the best Spongebob game out right now. And I'm looking forward to what they bring in the future, you know, whether it's an open world game or whether it's uh, another game like this. I'd be happy with another game just like this. This this type of game, you know, like, Super Mario keeps doing it, 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 it works. A level-based uh, platforming game works, so... Um, oh, I guess we have to ride the seahorse to get out of here. A little dabble, do ya? I don't know if we've missed anything, you know, like... I'm gonna just assume we got it all, and if we haven't, I'll do my research later. We'll come back. Oh my gosh. So this is another area that in the speedrun, speedrunners will stand on this platform right here, and they will hover all the way across. You skip all of this portion of the level by hovering across to the other side. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous that they do that. Uh, I can't wait to try it myself when we actually get into speedrunning this game. Um... I hope it does, like, <laughs> it feels like it's also a simple strategy. It, like, really easy to replicate. Not easy to replicate, per se. Like, it actually takes some practice. I, I was failing it quite a bit when I was practicing it myself. Um, I also have to get used to... Whoa, I like that it takes such sharp corners, because you, jumping in midair is dangerous. Um, focusing, focusing, focusing. This seems like an area where they're going to have another mini game or challenge. I, I feel it. I feel it in my bones. Also, there's a... Something down there. Before we even continue up here, what's going on over here? Is there anything that's actually worth finding? No. More jelly bubbles. Oh, uh, we've already done that surfboard, I think. Yeah, I think, yeah. This is, good. yeah, <laughs> this is one of the earliest surfboards you can do. In fact, the first time you go through the surfboard, it brings up, like, there's, like, something blocking the path each time. And I, I failed already, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I've already done that one. It gives you a golden doubloon. Um, so we'll skip that. Keep working on. No reason to stay behind for something we've already collected. I have to go back and check everything that we've already looked at, just because I, I don't know what will be a hidden thing or not. How many, how many? We still have two more of these refreshments we have to find. I love the karate kick so much. Yeah, I know these are just faster ways up here. And check the outside still. Just to make sure there's nothing else. Oh, hi, we were down there earlier. Hey there! Some men are so crooked they can swallow a nail and spit up a corkscrew. <laughs> I don't know if I remember that one. <laughs> that's a good one. Oh gosh, that's a good one. <laughs> I, I don't know if I remember that one because we might have skipped that platform. Oh, I remember this button. Because this is something early on. I'm like, how in the world are you supposed to press this? You have to do the super smash. Yep. And that's such a simple golden doubloon to go grab. The only limitation here is you had to wait until you finally unlock that ability. But there we go. Uh, oh hey, refreshment. Nearly missed that. Actually, I probably wouldn't have missed it because you have to look this direction to keep going. Yeah, this platform is only here for the refreshment. That that platform would have been entirely pointless on your first run through the game. It's funny. 
Ooh, that was close. So as you can tell, it took me, what, like, five or seven minutes to run through this section of the level, and speedrunners just skip it by hovering over it. Really funny. Um, I don't know if there's any other big glitches. Uh, the speedrunning community for this game is releasing a tutorial soon. Uh, and so I'm gonna be looking at that tutorial and finding out all the different glitches and whatnot to find out how to speedrun, which I love about speedrunning. Like, speedrunning communities are honestly so welcoming. Like, you'd imagine that in such a competitive environment, they'd be like, oh, let's keep our secrets to ourselves. But no, they don't do that, and I love that. In pretty much almost all speedrunning communities, granted, there are definitely some communities that are much more, like, restrictive than others. They're like, ah, oh, nobody, nobody gets to know my secrets, despite the fact that you can find out anybody's secrets just by watching their run. If you just watch a speedrun, you can see what they do, and you can just replicate it. Uh, but sometimes glitches are so weird, you don't know what how the glitch was done. So it's really nice that, you know, speedrunning communities are so caring about each other that they'll tell you how the glitches work. Um, and so I'm excited to see that tutorial, excited to see how how to speedrun all the tricks and secrets. And, uh, and I'm excited to run it. I will put my best effort in. My goal will be to get, like, top 20, at least at some point. I'd love to be in the top 20 on the list. Uh, there's probably not that many people who are actually speedrunning it, though, so... Top 20 might be kind of easy. <laughs> it might be uh, a better challenge to be like, Oh, let's go for top 10 or something. Sticky sweet. They're walking through the platform! Yeah, it might, it might be like... I'll probably have... I mean, I'll just have a like an easy-to-get goal, and then as I go along, I'll have more and more difficult goals as time progresses. Right, there's really nothing hidden over here, is there? It really feels like there's absolutely nothing hidden on this giant wall of things. So I'm just gonna do this. this is, instead of taking the, the rod, it'll be way faster just to walk up this right here. <laughs> yeah, this level though, I mean, it is, it's long. I, I'd venture to say it's the longest level in the game. Uh, which is interesting because it's so early on, but I don't know. Maybe maybe that's a patience thing, right? Like this introduces so many concepts of the game to the player. Oh, there's definitely got to be something hidden around here, right? All these different levels. Probably not, huh? <laughs> I, I stood right next to where it landed. Didn't even matter. They're much more forgiving with these guys. I have not really. Oh, oh, hi. Oh, I can't talk to him again. Hey, don't pay any. What could possibly go wrong? All right, this looks like an area that they might hide something like right around the corner. I want to check right around the corner. Oh, there's an entire platform back here. This would have been an evil but really good place to hide something. I'm surprised they didn't. That would that literally the fact that you can walk back there that would have been an amazing hiding spot. All right, cave. We're near the end of the level now, and we still need to find two. Oh, we only have to find one refreshment. So the refreshment is going to be in this cave. We just have to keep our eyes peeled. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. I recently uh, there was a there was a Reddit post recently that was like, "What's the worst movie that has a really good ending?" And uh, somebody said that, um, "What's the movie? It's a uh, uh, Lone Ranger." Lone Ranger is kind of a man movie, but it has an amazing ending. The, the the fight scene that happens on the train is like one of the best fight scenes in cinema. It's just so fun and like the way that they run around it and it's so awesome. So I think I agree with that in that it's kind of a man movie up till the end and then the ending is awesome. Where's that refreshment gonna be? I mean, this is, this is gonna be a gold doubloon, but uh, it's not gonna be a refreshment. Oh, you know what? Maybe the refreshment is in one of these garbage piles. Is it just a timer to beat this one enemy? No, there's multiple of them. Gosh, he shoots you so far if you accidentally land on him. Yeah, I'm gonna hit every pile here just in case one of these is where the uh, refreshment is. I know I should be focusing- Also, I, I- It's upsetting that the, uh, the Alaskan Boltworm was never in this game. Oh wow, that works! <gasps> you can just do that?! Oh, that's a very fast strategy to take care of them, is just when they're still up. Alright, I'm gonna try that on this last enemy here. 
When he's up, apparently you can just go ahead and do a ground pound right away. Oh, you have to do the super ground pound. Okay. Yeah! That's so fast! Oh, but it didn't work the last time. I don't know why. I was able to do two in a row. I don't know, maybe three in a row is not possible on a programming standpoint. Like, it just doesn't let you do it. Let's try it on this guy. Ah. Uh, no, I think it's probably how far away you are. Yeah! Okay, so... I'm, I'm still curious if, if it's possible to do three in a row, but that's a cool strategy to take care of them very quickly. Well, it's a golden doubloon! It's not a refreshment, though. I might have missed out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break all these still. Maybe it's, maybe it's like, maybe after you break all of them, it gives you one. Do, 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 do. There's also these random little platforms on the side. I don't remember what these are for. I don't know if these were in the original level, like... A little dab will do ya! <laughs> Pickaxe, that's funny. Yeah, well, we'll keep breaking these and hope that it's what I need to do. It looks like I just missed it, though, which is unfortunate. Well, that's another thing I'll have to Google. Yeah, there's no other, no other piles. Oh, wait. Wait, there is one. That'd be really funny <laughs> if this is it. I really hope it is. <sighs> Unfortunate. Well, one more thing we'll have to come back to uh, for the future. <laughs> but we got the golden spatula here, which is nice. And I could check up here to make sure there's not like a... Alrighty then, looks like we're moving on. Get that banjo playing, sir. A few seconds. Wait. Oh yeah, there is still the... Oh, we have the boss fight. Okay. Oh, looky here. So the refreshment might be somewhere right around here. Um, I forgot there's more to the level. I thought that was the end of the level. So we still have the boss fight By and the this. Power of cosmic silliness, our horseback heroes once again find themselves pursuing a penny pinching bandit. You bet we do. So the challenge here is we have to catch Mr. Krabs quickly. The actual achievement says, and get the mouse out of the way. The actual achievement says we have to do it in under three minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this in this part of the episode. We're kind of, this is a longer episode uh, for today, but might as well. This is the last episode we're recording on the uh, today's live stream, so we'll go a little bit longer with it. And uh, let's just see if I can find the refreshment. I wonder if the refreshment's gonna be in, uh, that'd be unfortunate if it's in the boss fight. Like we have to find it in the train. It might be. Well, I'm gonna go for speed is what I'm gonna go for. If we see it on the way, I'll get it. All right. It could also just be off like one of these ramps, like right before you actually get into the, uh, the train itself. Oh gosh, yeah, I'm doing good. Staying speedy. I'm just trying to jump and like bash as much as possible. We'll stay on the inside corner of this here. I don't know why he's throwing that at us. It never even has a chance to hurt us. I'm just like jamming both of them. Oh yeah, this has to be the fastest I've ever done the horse running bit. I'm gonna try to use the karate kick as much as possible. Now the trick here is that there's some areas where you have a button and some areas where you don't. So, this is an area where you actually have to hurt all the enemies in order to actually progress, and this one isn't. So we can just go ahead and karate past them, press the button and move on. Do that, jump up. I have no idea. I think nearly a minute has already progressed, so we're gonna see how, how I can do here. Three minutes is short. Three minutes is crazy short. All right. I actually didn't know if that was required, but whatever. I don't think I was supposed to hit all those guys right there, no. This one, though, I think is an area you do have to hit them all, so... We'll go ahead and hit them all right here. Yep. It slows you down so much right there. Okay. 
I also have not been paying attention to where potentially the refreshment might be. So if it was around here, uh, I've totally missed it. I bet you it's gonna be like... It's gonna be like behind you, like once you walk through an area, you have to like turn around. Okay, well at least I didn't need that. Oh, don't stun me. I guess, I guess he's gonna... No! Okay, so hitting those guys is probably a bad idea. I'm gonna still try to do it, but no, it resets you so far back. Um, if you hit those guys, they stun you, which pretty much can ruin your run here. And it's not helpful in the slightest, so like, it's tough because I want to use the karate attack? Because the karate attack is, uh... The karate attackers are so fast, it gets you fast or three faster, but it's not helpful. There you go. So I can try to karate chop these guys instead. I just have to pace it out correctly. Sweet Davy Jones Locker. Was that it? That wasn't it, I think. I think it reset me too far back. Alright, well, uh <laughs> I guess we can return to Plankton for spot. Let's see what he says. You run away like that. I don't think it was his fault. Silence! This little chum got me worried sick. Don't you do that to me again ever. Us. <laughs> yes. Us. Golden doubloons! Alrighty, let's do one more attempt at that boss fight. Oh, that's the wrong level. Uh, one more attempt at the boss fight. This is an extra long episode today. Um, but I want to get it done. I we should I find call some it. soothing refreshments for our dear old squid. Yeah, it'd be great if I knew where they were. Is it like right behind us, like as we Those enter this level? Soothing. Cause we haven't found a single refreshment in this cave, and this feels like it would be another area that they would hide a refreshment. Hmm. I'm looking everywhere. I don't see it. I mean the cave is so short. There's nowhere to really hide it in here. Oh well. Again, I'll do my research and I'll find that. I think it looks like there's gonna be like one collectible in every level that I just miss. Which is funny. Alright guys, it's speedrunning time. <laughs> Let's go ahead and collect, or we're gonna catch Mr. Krabs in under three minutes. And I don't know if it counts this part right here, I would hope it doesn't. But just in case it does, I guess we're gonna go and start running now. Yeah, does it? Does it really speed you up? Oh uh, yeah, it looks like it does. Cartwheeling kind of slightly speeds you up. Okay. So while on the horse... So it looks like the what jumping does is it prevents ground friction. Especially when going on ramps. Like, look at that. I'm so close. So I'm definitely going fast. When going up ramps, uh, the seahorse slows down a lot. So by jumping instead, and then dashing midair, you're pretty much causing yourself to go the fastest you possibly can. So fast that we're like really sitting here right next to the actual train, basically. Alright. Now I gotta run through it. Boing! Yeah, this is basically like... This is what speedrunning is going to be like when we actually do it. Hey, running through. Oh, you have to actually hurt all of these guys. Alright, moving along. Hit that. Perfect. Alrighty. <laughs> Focus, focus, focus. Focus, focus, focus! Uh, doesn't look like I have to hit all these enemies. So we're just gonna use them as a little bit of a, a, a help for us. The fact they have to slow down for the teeter-totter is a little unfortunate. I think you have to hit all these guys, yeah. Come on, hit all. I'm actually gonna try to jump on top of this and hover over the entire thing. Woo, the camera started turning and I didn't like that. I've never seen a fish like this! That, I mean, we're on the best pace I've ever been, but I have no idea if this is good enough, right? Like, I don't know if you have to even be better than this. 
All right, so what messed me up last time is these guys blasting you backwards if you hit them. So I have to make sure to not hit the spawning guys. There we go. So I'm only karate kicking when there's the karate kick icon over the minions, because I just... That was it! Alrighty then. Well, everybody, that is it for today's episode. Thank you for joining us. And we have just uh, gotten another award. And man, is our list of awards just filling up. I'm so excited. Just look at this. Almost like it's... Wow. It's so nice to see nearly fully full check marks. We, we're, we're getting there. We are getting there. Hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.